Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Doug Proffitt. And I am Melissa Swan. We want to start with some breaking news. There's black smoke across the horizon of downtown Louisville right now. Firefighters are on the scene of this houseboat fire near the Tumbleweed Restaurant on the waterfront. Again, this is right along Waterfront Park on the Kentucky side, and uh, this fire broke out just before we went on the air here. You can see the huge black smoke going into the air as the fire department now on the scene putting water down there. We want to let you know that the Tumble Reed restaurant has been evacuated. We're told that there are reports the boat has 400 gallons of fuel on board. Uh, we have no reports that anybody had, was on this houseboat, though. We do have a crew on the way, and of course, the concern right here would be the fuel for um, this houseboat. It was uh, came out just a few minutes before 5 o'clock that a houseboat fully engulfed on the Ohio River right in front of the Tumbleweed restaurant. You know where that is at Waterfront Park that this houseboat was fully engulfed and they have put a lot of water on this. We saw very, very black smoke in the beginning um, indicating that uh, there was a lot of flame involved as well. Now there is a marina in this area. Uh, this boat right here from this perspective from Sky 11 doesn't appear to have been docked in the marina but close to it. I talked to the folks at the Waterfront Development Corporation right before we went on at 5. Uh, they were using their binoculars to spot it and they thought it was just off from the shoreline a little bit but if you know where the tumbleweed is you can uh, imagine how close this is so that's why they wanted to get people out in case there was an explosion. And you can see from this great shot from Sky 11 the, how much water they're putting on this fire and the uh, white smoke is an indication of steam and the flames are abating but you can tell that they're certainly not going to be much left of this boat after this fire is put out. It looks like it was totally engulfed and, and very little left of it. We don't know what started this fire and as I said we do have a crew on the way who will be gathering information uh, there about the houseboat fire just in front of the Tumbleweed restaurant at Waterfront Park. Yeah, a very large houseboat. It uh, created quite a show downtown when this first broke out. Very thick black smoke billowing right over the interstate system as uh, the uh, boat is so close there to not only River Road, but then you have Spaghetti Junction right near downtown. But the fire department uh, appears from what we cannot tell from right here, but we do know they rush down to the shoreline and uh, they are very close to the area right here. So they rush down to the shoreline. It looks like this water may be coming from the shoreline. I can't tell, it might be from a boat in the river. And on the phone right now, we have uh, someone from Tumbleweed uh, who is uh, looking at this fire. Hello, uh, can you give me your name? My name is Misty Swoboda. And what are you seeing there from your vantage point, Misty? Um, the boat went up really quick. It um, engulfed in, in flames and it caught the dock on fire. And then it broke loose from the dock, and it's heading down down river a little bit. So you were saying it was uh, tied to a dock when this fire began? Yes, actually, the the owners were in the restaurant eating. Oh my goodness! Okay. So Misty, this boat, what did it? Did they get it? How did they get it out into the river? Did they shove it out of there? And uh, if you can watch the firefighting efforts from where you are, is that a boat in the river putting water onto it? Yes, sir. It's uh, the fire rescue boat is mm -hmm. out there and it seems like they're using the water to push it out a little bit. So what was the reaction of, uh, of the boat owners? Did they immediately know that this was their boat? Did anyone hear an explosion or, or what was it like when, when everyone realized that this was a houseboat on fire? It actually, it, it started with big black thick smoke and no one really noticed for a few minutes and then we looked over and the smoke was just bellowing out and then it just engulfed within minutes. Mm -hmm. it, it just like it didn't really blow up, but it just, when the fire came out the window, it just engulfed the whole top floor within a matter of minutes. Well, right now they are pushing it to the shoreline. We are right next to the Big Four pedestrian bridge, which is the, uh, where you see the shadow there on the right of the screen, right next to the bridge as it goes closer to the uh, shoreline on the Kentucky side. Are you all in your restaurant now, or did they evacuate uh, Tumbleweed? They evacuated Tumbleweed. The owner told us that there was 500 gallons of gasoline. They just fueled up. Yeah, 400 gallons of uh, fuel is uh, what we were told. You were told 500, and when you say the owner, you mean the, the, the owner of the boat. Yes, yes, ma'am. So uh, you can tell us nobody hurt in this? No one was hurt, no. Um, I think the owner was very, extremely upset and showed us visibly shaken and upset. Well, it's a huge right. boat. Understandably. It's a so, huge boat. Missy, do you know if that owner is from Louisville or were they from another city? 
He was from Louisville and said he actually just had it refiberglassed. Oh. Just like this is, was his first outing after oh, wow. having, the, having it redone. Well, it must be heartbreaking. Is that owner still in the area? Yeah, I think he's outside talking to someone. Right. Well, we have a crew on the way um, to talk to the owner. Um, if you could point them in the in the right direction, there. It's a heartbreaking scene for him, I am sure. But luckily, uh, no one, as far as we know, right. injured in this fire of a houseboat at uh, Waterfront Park. Now, the fire department has successfully gotten it to the shoreline, where it will most likely stay. Uh, they have been putting water, as you've seen, from the river, and now they can reach it there from the shoreline again. That's right right by Tumbleweed and the Big Four Bridge tonight as the fire does appear to be out. We'll keep an eye on it and bring you an update here throughout the newscast.